there anything that you changed your mind about? I know you're going out here, you're talking to people, you're exposing them to something. Was there anything that you can recall where you thought, hmm, I, I could have been wrong about that? I mean, I, we did a whole episode, well, yes, uh, we did a whole episode in East L.A. to talk about the growing Latino, Latino demographic, and I mean, a lot of times in this in this country, we sort of lump black and brown people together, like we're all minorities, but there's just a lot about that life that I don't know, and the issues they have are some similar to ours, but like, a lot of their issues are about how, if the, if the country will allow them to become citizens, whereas black people, our issue is, we have our citizenship, but can you treat us like we're citizens? And then uh, we went to San Quentin, we did a whole episode of San Quentin Prison, and I did not want to go to the prison. I did not think it sounded like a good time. I've spent my life trying to not be in prison. Uh, there before the grace of God go I. And so we went there and visited and I really like ended up meeting a lot of dudes in there that I liked a lot. And really felt sad for the, you know, you read the statistics about, you know, America's prison population is 40% black and even though America's population is 12% black and you read all the statistics and, and, and uh, the three strike laws we have in California and how those ended up people being over sentenced. And it's all statistics until you meet people you're like, wait, okay, I know you, you did something bad 20 years ago, but why are you still here? You know, you've rehabilitated yourself, you've done the work, and you're still here, and right. these are able-bodied, intelligent people who've done done way more work on themselves, like, personally with therapy than most black men I know. So in that sense, they're way more healthier than most of the black men I know, and yet they are locked up in this box from they did when they were teenagers. Do you foresee a time where we can honestly, within this country, talk to one another freely and openly about issues of race? Yeah. It, if we don't, then we're doomed. You know what I mean? Like I think if we don't get there, then we're then it's just going to get the the the, it's just, the country's going to fall in on itself. You know? I just think that the more we actually put it out there in front of people, the more we will talk about it. So I think that I think art has a huge ability to change the nature of the conversation. It can't make the change happen, but it can at least change the nature of the conversation.